Well, ahead of the Irish Champions Festival, of course, a huge weekend upcoming. Delighted to be on the gallops in Piltown, of course, of Joseph O'Brien. He's got a huge weekend ahead of him. Great, Joseph, great weekend upcoming, of course. It's a fantastic festival in its own right. Must be looking forward to it. Yeah, really looking forward to the racing plan. Um, both days, uh, the cards are deep, competitive racing, going to be big fields. Um, it's going to be tough to get winners, uh, but hopefully we can get on the scoreboard at some stage over the weekend. That's the easy stuff, trying to get winners on the track. We've had a big uh, interest with your Ask Joseph series and uh, we've a lot of questions to get through. I hope you have prepared and your mind is qu quite sharp for non-racing matters because uh, we're going to kick off with number one from Tracy. You are to glasses what Imelda Marcus is to shoes. How many pairs of glasses do you actually have? <laughs> I, I normally have one pair and, and, and it normally gets me about a month so I have to re replace them every month um, uh, I should have a couple of backup sets but I generally go for one and then replace them as needed breaking into jeeps, sitting on them, all of that you name it, losing them you know, all, the, all, all the different ways you can break out of glasses I've done them <laughs> very good, from Shane what is your favourite race at the Irish Champions Festival? Um, you know, um, I suppose the Irish Champion Stakes over the last number of years, it's rated as one of the top races in the world uh, for turf horses over middle distances. Uh, this year is going to be right up there again, and I have to say that it's a race that I look forward to uh, even watching every year, even if we're not taking part. And the track and the finish at Epperson always has some excitement in it. It does. Uh, it's a difficult track. Uh, um, they always run on the outside track here for Champions Weekend, so it's it's a fair, stiff finish. Uh, the best horse wins, and um, uh, this year it promises to be one of the top races in the world. And I'm um, looking forward to, to, to it again. Uh, number three comes from uh, Connor, of course. Uh, what is your death row meal starter, main course, dessert? Probably should ask you this when you're riding, not now, but <laughs> <laughs> starter, main course, dessert. Uh, I, I think. Um, uh, well, my guilty pleasure is a Chinese. When, when you know, when <laughs> I've had a, I've had a couple of days with no winner, the horses are not firing. I lock, lock up the house and uh, have a Chinese on my own. From Tom Lawler, what are Carrigan Oaks' big hopes for the Irish Champions Festival? Um, um, I suppose we're lucky to be represented across the, across the uh, weekend with, with some runners. Um, we have a very nice two-year-old, that's Anthony Coase mm. from the Leopard Supplemented Sound. for the race. Yeah, he was supplemented. He, he's a lovely horse. And I suppose Al Riffa is, is the obvious one at Leopard Sound as well. Excellent. Uh, number six from Larry. What is the one winner as a jockey and trainer has meant most to you? Um, I suppose um, as a jockey, um, uh, you know, winning the Epsom Derby was, was, was very special on, on Camelot. Um, and, and then, you know, since I've been training, Dunica uh, riding La Trobe uh, mm. to win the Irish Derby was a, a hugely special day and um, one that, that uh, I'll never forget. Hard to beat that. Uh, from Vivian Ranahan, do you think Luxembourg can win again? Um, I suppose he has to step back into his form from last season um, or even from, from the begin beginning of this season to do so. But uh, uh, I wouldn't like to write him off, that's for sure. <laughs> back to the food from Isaiah. Pineapple on pizza. Discuss. Yeah, no, I, I have to say that... Um, Ham, cheese and pineapple is my go-to pizza. There you go, it's mine as well, and it solves a long-running argument with a few people, <laughs> and uh, the bigger, the better. Uh, from Sarah McCarl, how many kilometres do you drive a year? Oh, God, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's a lot. I wouldn't like to be getting a second-hand car from me, anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, this question comes from Laura Butler. Any podcast or Netflix recommendations, or what are you into? Um podcast um i have to say I, I i like listening to a good crime podcast mm. of some sort uh some kind of a true true crime podcast west cork have you heard uh, that one? yeah west cork love that one um and there's a yeah there's a i've listened to, to tons of them but yeah any kind of true crime uh gets me uh, locked in box sets for the winter um i i, I don't watch as much uh, netflix as maybe i uh, used to um but um what are we watching at the moment um uh, no, we're just what at the moment we have the tennis on, so yeah, no, no, no <laughs> Netflix at the moment. The morning show is back on Apple TV this week, that'll do me. Yeah. Uh, what horse would you like to train that isn't in your yard? Oh, god, um, I suppose this season Paddington is, would be the obvious one, you know, he's fought every fight, um, he's turned up every time in Ronnie's race, and you know what a star he's been. You mentioned Al Riff a few moments ago, how happy have you been with him since his return to action from Shane Nolan? Yeah, really pleased with him. Um, I thought his run 
in the Curra was a, with a satisfactory starting point, but really stepped up uh, in France and ran a huge race against Ace Impact. Looks just about the best horse in France, and uh, and um, uh, hopefully he can take another step forward from there this weekend. Do you think having a fresh horse going to this weekend is a big plus? Yeah, it certainly helps. Um, now there is a couple of other fresh horses in the race, but um, I think it certainly is a help having a fresh horse heading into the second half of the season. Martin and Kildare wants to know what three skills did you learn from your dad? Um, oh God, um, I suppose I, I've you know learned everything from mom and and, and dad at home, but I I think uh, uh, you know the main thing is that that always drilled into us was to do our best and um, and whatever the result, win, lose or draw, to 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 deal with it and and, and look forward. Keep learning and learn absolutely. From Davy and y'all, what skincare do you use? You look remarkably young. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, twenty lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, um, I have to say I don't have much of a skincare routine, and I think I'm going to have to start shaving soon. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few recommendations for you. <laughs> From Killian, do you still ride out, and if so, how often? Um, I ride out on a Sunday morning. Um, weather permitting, <laughs> um, but I, I enjoy sitting on a couple on a Sunday, and uh, that's about it. This gallop is well known, it's a hill gallop, it's uh, very testing, is that for you to get a guide as to how the gallop's riding, it keeps your eye in just as if it needs maintenance and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, I suppose, um, yeah, and, and I enjoy sitting up on a few in, on a Sunday, um, uh, and uh, you know, sometimes there's one that I may like to sit on just to get a feel of them for whatever particular reason, um, but, but yeah, I enjoy riding a couple of on a Sunday. From Andrew, what is your favourite racehorse of all time? Um, I suppose um, uh, St. Nicholas Abbey uh, is a horse that was, was very special and very good to me when, you know, when, I, when I started riding. Mm. And um, he was a horse that, that uh, yeah, that I think he'd be right up there. That Breeders' Cup success at 18? Yeah, that was an incredible day. And, uh, and you know, he went on and won in Dubai and, and he won a host of big races and even ran very well in a lot of top races. And uh, yeah, he was, he was one that I'd be right up there. From Rachel, what trainer do you most admire? Well, I suppose um, uh, that's an obvious one. Uh, growing up in Benny Doyle and, and seeing what what Dad has done over the last number of years, uh, he's he's uh, someone who we've looked up to and continues to look up to and, and learn from as much as we can. From John, what is the key to keeping horses happy? Um, goodness, um, well, I suppose every horse is different, and mm. and you know some horses get their kick from from spending a couple of hours in the paddock every day. Some horses like to race more often and they're happier when they're racing more. Some horses maybe not so much. So I think really it comes down to the indiv individual horse and having a routine tailored specifically for him or her. Number 18 from David. Are you ready for Al Riffa to skate up in the Royal Bahrain Irish Champions Day? <laughs> yes, yes, we're ready David. <laughs>